So what do you do when you love fashion and you have your absolute favourite colour? You buy a bunch of bags in it, of course. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud. What that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrate yourself, and of course, celebrating others. Now, I know this video comes a little bit later than my usual upload schedule. Um, I didn't get anything filmed uh, the last weekend because I was in London and then I've been busy with work. So, uh, you're still on my mind, everyone. I'm still thinking about you, but I was, I was struggling for time. But I'm going to get back to a more consistent schedule because I don't like missing pockets of time. Anyway, what are we talking about today? I've got some new subscribers and... Um, one of the things that I am very passionate about here is anything that comes in pink. We all know I absolutely love and adore pink. Quite literally, you know, bought the sofa in it. My home is pink because I just love it. I think it is a fabulous, fabulous colour. It makes me happy. It gives me energy. It's super duper. So I thought I would share with you today the bag collection that I have created or acquired and accumulated in my favourite colour. Now these have been collected over a period of time. I think it is probably the colour that I have the most bags in. I didn't think I had that many and then I started pulling them all out and I thought, whoa, there's more than I thought. And they're all quite different. They're fun, they're different. So let's get into it. What do I think of them? What are they? What do I think of them? Would I recommend them? First things first, Longchamp Le Pliage Backpack. I have well documented my thoughts on the backpack. It is a really good bag. It's a useful bag. I've got three. You probably only need the one. The pink doesn't make me love it any more than the others that I've got. So it's it's one of those ones that where it's a really functional piece. I'm really glad to have it. It folds, the straps are comfortable, it's white clean. I've used mine as a gym bag for a long time. You know, it's, it's easy, I have to say. Easy, easy bag. I recommend the bag. If pink's your favourite colour, like it is for me, then fine, buy it in pink. But for me, you know, it doesn't make me love this bag style anymore. Um, I probably should have just stuck with the beige one that I had, which I also really enjoyed using, and I probably didn't need more. But good bag style. Next up, a fun one, one that's a bit different. It is my Kurt Geiger mini Kensington in this faux fur and the flap is red with a rose print on it in pink. It's this beautiful pink faux fur. It's fun. It's different. Silver gunmetal hardware. It's a double shoulder. Just got it stuffed in the at the moment. It's a double shoulder um, there. And of course, you can also make it a crossbody or long shoulder if you want as well. You could tuck those in and it'd be a little clutch. This is fun. I actually think this could be a really cute kind of evening function event bag. Just adds a bit of dimension to an outfit, a bit of playfulness. And having three different ways to wear it on the body is never a bad thing. This is a fun little piece. Glad to have it. Don't use it all that often, but when I do, I get a kick out of it. Speaking of event bags, this one just doesn't get used like it should. But it is a really nice piece and it's my Karl Lagerfeld K Pura pouch um, kind of clutch. I say it often, I love the colour, I love the chain detailing, the silver hardware, it fits more than you would think it does, it's quite a kind of practical pouch, it's, it's definitely intended to be a clutch, not a um, catch-all in a bag because you have this handle that you can slip your hand through or hold it like this. This I'm considering for an event that I've got coming up, but I say that about a lot of bags. Um, it's a fun one. It will come with me when I go to Edinburgh. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's a nice piece. I paid a little over the odds for this, if I'm honest. <laughs> and I talked about this, I think, in my bags that I barely used. I paid over £100 for this and it's essentially a clutch. And that's just not a bag style I use very often. 
and I'd have been able to get greater cost per wear by putting it elsewhere. However, I do use it as an ornament in my home and it's very pretty, so I'm okay with it from that perspective. Now let's go for a kind of big old beach bag slash, you know, some people use Chanel Deville's and all that kind of stuff. I don't. I use my Osprey London fabric shopper, this kind of woven shopper. These are great. They're about £45. The colour's really nice. I have about seven of these in different colours, but they're just really easy. A huge open space. You could put an organiser in this if you wanted. It's got a back pocket. This easily fits over the shoulder. They're comfortable. They can just fold up. I take these in a suitcase when I travel overseas and I'm going to the beach because they fold basically flat in the base of the suitcase and then you can just pack everything on top and you've got your beach bag ready to go. So this is absolutely perfect for what I need it for. It's a good, easy bag. I don't worry about it. It's hassle carefree, but it represents me and it's a color that I absolutely love. So it's a win um, and it just does what I need to do. Love it. Now the first pink bag they ever bought, and this one just doesn't get used. I've talked about this. I've said about maybe moving it on, but I just can't really decide what to do with it. This is a contemporary piece. This is from Abbott Lion. Um, I bought it three years ago, I want to say. I was exploring whether or not I wanted a Gucci Marmont, and I saw this, and I thought, let's try it and see if the style works. And it just doesn't particularly. What I'm debating doing is having the chains removed so I can just use it as a clutch. Because as much as I could just use it like a clutch now, and actually I think it looks quite nice with the chains like that, um, it would bug me that every time you opened it... Actually... Actually, the chain's not really falling out there, is it? That doesn't look out of place. Okay, maybe I could use it as a clutch and just kind of keep the chain inside the bag. I'm not going to use it. Let's be, let's not, let's not play. It's not getting used, but it's fine. One of my newer acquisitions, but I'm absolutely loving it. And this is a bag that I know a lot of you really love as well. And I've got some good news for you. So this is my beautiful pink Longchamp Le Pliage Queer, which is the leather Le Pliage. And mine is in this beautiful soft pink, this very kind of milkshake pink and it has this non-adjustable shoulder strap. It's also a top handle. Mine is in the medium size, and I am pleased to share that Longchamp do have versions of this currently available. So it is now in the Longchamp Le Pliage Extra, is what they're referring to it as, and that, I believe, is a name change for the Le Pliage Queer line, and this is in the colour Petal. I want to say. Of course, I'll put all the details up on the screen, but I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say, how can I get hold of one like your leather long chump in the pink? Well, now you can. Price point wise, it's beyond the sweet spot that I said I would pay for this. This is worth about £300 to me. I paid a lot less than that, but it's worth about £300 to me. The Le Pliage Extra is more than that. It's a beautiful bag. You determine what you're prepared to pay for it. For me, my recommendation is circa £300. I'd maybe stretch to about £320, £330. I wouldn't go much beyond that. I'd rather go for a Rousseau. However, if the shoulder strap is worth it to you, the um, ability to fold it, all of that really good stuff that we love this for, then it could be the one for you. But beautiful bag very practical, easy to use, and very reflective of my style. And I think the Le Pliage is an absolute icon. So there we have it. My first Le Pliage ever in the pink. And no, it is not the one you think it is. It is my Le Pliage travel bag. This is not my first Longchamp bag. This was my fourth, fifth, maybe my fifth Longchamp bag. And this is my Le Pliage travel bag in the large size in from the original collection. This was a colour that I believe was released in 2017, 2018. Um, it's, it's been around, you know, it's travelled with me. It's been hand, bag, hand baggage. It is a really great piece. I've just used it fairly recently, actually, as kind of a um, hold all for, for going away for a night. And it did very, very well, I have to say. It's easy. I don't worry about it. But I do still feel pulled together when I travel with this. 
I also like putting this on top of a rolling suitcase and it's great for things like hand baggage because you can fill it or of course it can all just squish down and it's quite a malleable piece of hand baggage and luggage if you want it to be. Yes, the key pulls and all those kind of beautiful pieces, the Mulberry Clipper, the Louis Vuitton key pulls, lovely, lovely travel bags. However, if you want to feel chic, pull together, but not cost the earth, by all means, this is a good one. One that you might tell me doesn't fit within this video because it could kind of fit in almost any video if I were to do a specific collection of a specific colour. This is my Kurt Geiger double XL flap in the rainbow. And this is with the beautiful rainbow crystals in the eagle head and this tie dye rainbow. Now, the reason I've included it in this video is because as much as it has all of these beautiful colours, and I absolutely adore them, the colour I see the most when I look at this is pink. I just gravitate towards these stripes of pink. They are just what I see. They are what I focus on because that's just what excites me about this particular bag. I love the shade of green they chose. I love the vibrant yellow. The purple is beautiful. This soft blue that works into a into more of a teal. Stunning. Beautiful colour choices. I absolutely adore it but it's the pink. The pink really gets me with it and I love that mine has quite a lot of kind of pink on the handles as well. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. I absolutely adore it. I don't know what's in it. Oh, I was looking for that. That's where they were. Oh, I was looking for my Le Pliage in the geometric and it's in there. Right. Okay, good to know. <laughs> good to know. My, um, Le Pliage um, large from the Pride collection was also housed in this. This is just a really fun, fun piece. Practical, easy to use, a real expression of personality. Could use it maybe as a huge clutch. Who knows? The world is your oyster. Such a fun piece and I'm very thrilled to own it. Now it might not be a bag, but something that I really enjoy using and is a great kind of catch-all and particularly with what I do for a living, it comes in handy for me. I absolutely adore this, uh, this Osprey London A4 leather document holder. Um, it's got space for an iPad or something in the back if you wanted, or again, you could, um, there should be another, oh. There's kind of space in here. If you have a smaller iPad, you could put business cards or cards. You can put, you know, pens and all that kind of stuff. It's got space in here as well. It's got this beautiful lining. Mine is in this beautiful pink. You could also get this in an A5. I love this. I use this a lot. Um, it's just somewhere that I put documents and that I can stick in my bag. And the bag that I was using this most recently with is this absolute heavenly piece of... I completely lost my train of thought because I was just thinking about how much I love this bag. It's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful bag. I adore it, I adore it. This is the Aspinall of London, London Tote in Tea Rose Pebble. I unboxed this fairly recently. I shared that with you all and a fair few of you have bought it. You either bought it before me or you bought it after. But what I've collectively heard from all of you is that you are loving it. It is not my first London tote. My first London tote is here in the Chat Hill Blue and I just adore them. I think it is a fabulous, fabulous bag. It is so practical. It is so chic. It is so elegant. It is so sophisticated. It's just ah, dreamy. And using these as a little combo is just, you know, Fabulous. Who doesn't want to pull their pink document holder out of their pink bag, place their laptop on their pink stand, and then, you know, give themselves a kind of little, you know, am I looking okay? With their pink Longchamp mirror. I mean, there is just a whole commitment to, to the vibe, okay? And, um, you know, I think I could, I think I, um, you know, fulfill it quite successfully. Oh, and if that's not enough, pink sunglasses. <laughs> oh, yes. 
yes, yes, yes. And I wore a pink suit with this particular bag. So you've got to commit to the look, everyone. You've got to just go all out. It's all about finding and embracing your personal style. If you haven't seen my part one, do go and check it out. And if you're watching this video after Dale's released part two, go and check that out as well. Little plug there. Anyway, let's crack on. We're down to our final two bags. And this is one of my, if not my favourite. This is the Le Pliage in the club in the colour fuchsia. It is a medium. I've owned this for circa two years now. Yes, I bought this in 2021, so around two years. It is folded, it is practical, it is chic, it is elegant, it is easy. It is white clean. It's been here, there and everywhere with me. I have taken this overseas, I've taken this on day trips, I've taken it to the club, I've taken it to work. It's just the bag that can do it all. It can do no wrong. If you're looking for a bag with a shoulder strap, not the one for you. Doesn't have one. However, it is super duper lightweight. So if your issue is with how heavy a top handle gets, the bag itself, yes, if you put loads of things in it or you put lots of things like water, etc., it's going to get heavy, but the bag itself weighs nothing. So you're, you're in control of what you put in it. A bag like this starts off fairly heavy because it's, you know, it's a lot of leather and it's a big bag. This, nowhere near as heavy. But, of course, you do have the option of the Le Pliage with the leather that does come with shoulder straps. So, you do have an option here. But for the price point, this can do no wrong. It is a beautiful bag. I've loved using it and I really look forward to continue using it. And last, but certainly by no means least, one that I... One that I thought might have gone on the chopping block that has since wormed its way back into my heart. <laughs> the Mulberry Alexa. I wasn't using it. I bought it. I loved the look of it. I saw this loopy leopard and I was obsessed with it. I, I said, you know, I woke up one night thinking about it and I don't do that very often with, with items or material things. And... This really captured my heart. It's just, the print is so amazing. What you saw there was a bit of the faff of this bag, which is finding the magnets to connect. But I just love the chain detailing. I love the black leather. I love the fact that it's this denim. I would say, I think I have one of the nicest versions of the Alexa that I've seen. I like some of the other ones that people have. I personally think I have the best one. I do. Would I use it more if it was in the oversized size? Maybe I would. But then it wouldn't be in this loopy leopard print. And that's what really captures my heart. And funnily enough, I wear this crossbody. I don't use bags crossbody very often. I have been wearing this crossbody. I have been enjoying it crossbody. The top handle... It's just a little bit tight for me, if I'm honest. But I am also debating using it um, soon as a kind of almost like a bit of an edgier clutch top handle type thing. We'll see what I think of that. But it is just a really great fun piece. And like I said, I think I have one of the best versions of this bag. I bought this pre-loved. This was released in 2010 but it's pretty special. I bought it for a special reason and I want to keep hold of it. And yeah, I, I was going through a moment of <sighs> slight kind of, how do I phrase this? I'm sometimes someone who, when I'm feeling a certain way, I go a little bit into overdrive and therefore I try to almost like over cleanse. I just, I try to do lots of things. If I'm feeling, a, if I'm feeling a bit down or I try to do loads of different things. And I went through this pit moment of, oh my word, I need to sell some of my bags. But you know, they're not making me happy. I need to sell them. And I actually don't need to sell any of them. I don't want to sell any of them. But that just, I was going through this moment of like, I need to do something. So therefore, I almost sold this. I almost sold my mulberry toe. I almost sold one of my Kurt Geiger double XL flaps because I was in this mindset of I just need to I just need to you know 
do something. And that was what I thought the right thing to do was. It wasn't. So anyway, that's that was a very big tangent. So apologies for that. But anyway, the bag is staying. Cliff Notes version. It's great. I've been using it crossbody. I have used it a few times. Top handle. But I think crossbody is really where it comes into its own. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. I mean, listen, if you've got a Mulberry Alexa and a different version to mine and you think yours is nicer, by all means, love that for you. But I think mine's pretty, pretty top tier as Alexas go. Anyway, there we have it, everyone. We are going to pull up on that one. I think I've shown you circa 10 bags, 10 pieces, something along those lines. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of pink bags. Is pink a colour that you enjoy? Is pink something that you work into your wardrobe? Is it a colour that you steer clear of that you don't quite know how to work in? Let me know. Um, and let me know if there's anything that, you know, from my side, if it's something that you're thinking, I'd love to do a bit more of it with my wardrobe, but I don't know quite how. Let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you unlock that. Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now.